Hi, I'm Veronica Birkenstock, and I, uh, I've been a member at ELC for a little over five years, and this is my ELC story. We were searching for a home church. We have two small children, and I grew up in the church, and so did my husband. So we were looking for a place where we could plant ourselves, and not only um, to be givers, but also to be able to receive. What's been happening since we joined here, oh, oh my goodness, the list is so long, but uh, we've gotten plugged in. Um, I'm also a member of Pastor Keith's Mastermind CEO group, which is probably one of the single largest things that I have done for myself as a business owner, to be able to, to sit in a room where there are Christian-minded and like-minded people who are, who are just interested in being successful and helping others be successful. To be able to take biblical scripture and biblical principles and apply that to your business life. There has been many times when we would actually stop in the middle of a presentation where he got a download and it could be just a word, but he would stop in the middle of that and we would lay hands on each other and we would pray. We've seen miracles happen. We've seen businesses uh, go forward in a way that only God could have been part of that. And so for me, that's probably the single largest Thing that's happened to me in this church that, that you don't normally get in church. You normally don't have your spiritual father leading you in a, a business adventure. And to me, I look forward to those six weeks. Um, every six weeks when we meet, I look forward to those days. As Pastor Key says, it's an alignment before assignment. So many alignments here at this church that I've been able to use in my business world, but also in my personal life. Um, many of you may know that I am running for Congress for Congressional District 26, and so many of the mighty men and the mighty women have come along beside me and have helped me in just the, the minute of details, but some, some major challenges that I physically could not do and would not have been able to, to complete that task had God not had put those people in my life. And I'm, I'm grateful there will never be words on this side of heaven to be able to thank them for what they have done. And the one thing that I have learned at ELC is that you take those biblical principles and you apply it to your life. And no matter what you're doing and whatever matters most to you, you look for wisdom and you look for strength in God. And that's where your that's where your strength comes from. And that's how you should make, be making your decisions, regardless of what that decision is, whether you're running for Congress or whether or not you're deciding on, you know, what, what your child should do as far as a, a extracurricular activity. You always seek God's wisdom. God has a plan for us. He tells us that in Jeremiah 29, 11, which is one of my, my very favorite verses. But he does have a plan for our life. And part of that is aligning ourselves with like-minded kingdom building people. And, and that's the opportunity that we get to do here at Mastermind. But we also get to do that here uh, in our everyday life at ELC. And that's what we found here. Um, my children also, um, the children's program is magnificent. I've got the wonderful ages of 13 and eight. And they have all the, the wonderful things that come along with being 13 and eight, but also the, uh, the issues of growing up in, in a social society. And this church has really helped those children. This past Sunday in church, when um, Pastor Keith spoke a word over my son, prophesied over him, that was just answered prayer. And I, I know that was, there's no way you could orchestrate that. Pastor Keith was led by the Holy Spirit and the other pastors there. And I know they have been praying with us over our son, Andrew. And to have that happen, um, in, in, a, in a service in church when your child is spoken over that way, you just, I mean, that's the ultimate blessing. And I know it will be something that my son will never, ever forget. So tell me your name. Drew. Drew. And what's your last name? Birkenstock. Okay, Birkenstock. You know what Birkenstock means? That means that whatever he says and whatever she says and whatever, however that home's supposed to be run, you're not just Drew doing like your own deal. You're Drew, wait, say the last name. Birkenstock. Birkenstock, wanna make sure you hear that. Now here's the deal, Drew, just like you, I can do whatever I wanna do. I can make it as hard on me, as hard on them, as hard on whatever as I want. But here's the reality. If my name is Birkenstock, there doesn't just come privileges with that, but there comes great responsibility with that. And that's who you are in Christ. And you're amazing. Hey, Drew, look at me. You're amazing. And you've got a great future. And God has a great plan for you. And you hadn't even seen anything yet. God's going to do amazing things through you. My husband and I were just filled with joy. That's all I can really say is that we are so grateful that we have a pastor that we serve along with in the ELC that will pray over your child, that will prophesy over your child, to bring a word to your child that makes a difference. To me, that matters most. 
not only in your spiritual life, but your family life and your business life.